Crypto markets making moves, crypto markets up, Cardano, everyone, leading the way in terms of gains. What is next for this top altcoin as it eyes up its next target, 14 cents? What is up, everyone? Thanks for coming by Crypto Capital Venture. Hit that subscribe on the way in. Let's jump into this Cardano video. You can see October 8th, just a couple days ago, Cardano up. I mean, just about 20% right now, making some moves. Crypto markets up in general. You can see Cardano now sitting number nine, market cap. Uh, and you can just see it's kind of leading the top 10 in terms of gains. But yeah, the markets in general doing really well. I want to break down the charts for Cardano in this video, namely, we're really gonna take a look at this inverse head and shoulders that I talked about October 4th, around six days ago, with that 14 cent uh, breakout target, give or take. Um, as I mentioned in this tweet, it depends on overall markets, uh, but Cardano ready to pump because it really was ready to pump. You can see what's happened since that tweet. Cardano is up. So I wanna start here for a second uh, because it's very important. So this is Bitcoin. This is Bitcoin charts. And this is really what's transpired in terms of Bitcoin. We're not going to spend a lot of time here, but we know Bitcoin pumped uh, October 8th. A little, little, a little pump. Nothing crazy. Consolidation. Uh, what was key is this trend line it broke. Pumps a little bit. Consolidation. Pumps a little bit last night. Consolidation. It's going to be really interesting to see what happens with Bitcoin uh, because right now it's testing this very key area. And this is an hourly chart, but that area... On the macro chart, this is the weekly going back to 2017 bull market high. This area, every everyone, I, I can't even stress how important this area is. I'm probably going to do another video on it. But what happens here in Bitcoin really will probably, most likely, 99% dictate what happens with Cardano. So please, in the back of your mind, keep that in mind. Now, if Bitcoin bullishly breaks through this channel, it is so big for so many reasons. Uh, but in terms of Cardano and what Cardano is looking at and what Cardano is doing right now, it would be very big for Cardano. I think Cardano would really uh, continue to lead the markets in terms of gains. So let's let's visit this. Let's let's check out Cardano charts. Uh, here's the inverse head and shoulders. I mean, we know Cardano overbought back here. August, there was there was even some bearish divergence on these charts when you're looking at this RSI. Uh, and it was just time for consolidation. We wanted continuation, obviously. It would have been amazing. Cardano testing 20 cents or something uh, back in that August time, August area. But the consolidation is so healthy. And even when we were up here, we talked about it. The potential for a 9 cent Cardano. And we actually dipped below that area. But in the process, we put in an inverse head and shoulders now. Uh, a very clear technical pattern on the screen. It's what I tweeted about the other day, I guess, right back here. And since then, we've broken the uh, neckline of this inverse head and shoulders. Breakout target just probably below 14 cents. But we know in these volatile environments, if Bitcoin, if any altcoin is going to hit a target, uh, typically it does so in a pretty volatile way, right? So we can kind of even break 14 cents and kind of consolidate in that area if markets continue and if Cardano hits this target. So the other thing that's very important that's happening on this daily chart, besides Cardano breaking this trend line, is we are above the 50-day moving average on this daily chart. No matter what cryptocurrency you are looking at, this is such an important area uh, in terms of the charts. We know in an uptrend, there's just continued support. There's continued higher highs, higher lows, above the 50-day moving average. In a downtrend, you get the opposite. You get resistance. And this is partly what it looks like. Resistance, resistance. So over the next couple of days, we want to see, will Cardano stay above this 50-day moving average currently just below 10 cents down here? So to give you a price range, uh, just to eye this up, we're looking at around 8% to support, 8% downside to support. So if Cardano retraces, if we come back down, what does it do? How does it interact with the 50-day moving average? Breaking below that, not good, everyone. This could be a lower high, in, or I'm sorry, yeah, a lower high in this downtrend, uh, and we can, we can continue down. And it really all depends on what Bitcoin's gonna do. And there is a correlation with what traditional markets are gonna do. This could be a crazy volatile, it could be, 
a short-term bullish or short-term bearish month. It really depends on some things that are happening in this world. So be patient. Now, with all of that said, even though there are outside influences, the technicals really are still so consistent. They're typically so uh, accurate. Meaning, if we are in even if we are in a bullish environment and you know things are pumping, this is a really key area to watch for in terms of short-term resistance, a bounce back down, consolidation back down. So. Uh, if we go and we dig in here on the six hour chart, anytime you break a trend line, in this case, the neckline of this he inverse head and shoulders, it's time to watch that area, right? So if if we get just this swing high and we come back down and we put in uh, a, a swing low, that's fine. But we want to see if there's support here at this neckline area for continuation to the upside. And that's what we'll start tracking on the short term now that we have a current swing high. But remember, we have to watch, we have to see what Bitcoin does after this consolidation, right? Is, is it going to drop and consolidate back down even more? Very, very possible. Or are we going to get continued continuation to the upside? That will play out on this Cardano chart. But again, to the downside, look at support at this neckline uh, and time will tell what happens there. So regardless on this six hour target up here, very bullish and on the downside support at the neckline. Now, if we're going to the weekly, I really wanted to cover this in this video. Cardano has done some things, right? And this is very important. No matter what even Cardano actually does in the short term, even if we get a bearish downtrend, all of a sudden markets are bearish, right? And actually for, for price range perspective, from where it is now, and we get a 30% dip, I'm, I'm being extreme here, everybody, but, but follow me. 30, 35% dip, 50 moving at 50 week moving average here, down here in the six cent range. It's crazy to say this, but Cardano will still be bullish. And the reason for that is just because we're testing a 50 week moving average, right? Number one, if we see support there, that's bullish, but we're looking long term here, everybody. This is long term play, at least for me. Uh, same with Bitcoin and Cardano would be revisiting this swing high and essentially long term, this would be a higher low from our low that we put in in March. So comes down 30% consolidation, maybe continuation back up. Do you see long term, if you have the patience, the endurance uh, to survive this, this is a nice looking chart continuation. If you want 50 cent Cardano, it's sitting up there. You just have to be patient. So, um, just have patience is I kind as of, kind of my point. I'm not saying this is going to happen, but I always want to throw out those bearish scenarios because these markets are crazy, everybody, and it's very important to to take note of. So, all of this happening technically, markets are looking bullish. Cardano looking so bullish. We have our target to the upside. Uh, I don't think I I plotted it, but target to the upside in terms of price range from where it is right now, we're looking at right around 20 to 30 percent to the upside that won't happen overnight most likely but it's it's very possible to happen in this kind of short to midterm depending on what again bitcoin does everyone cardano you know top 10 crypto but the project has so much going on i love it from a technical analysis perspective sitting uh sitting at 10 cents from a dollar 33 all-time high first off that alone is ridiculous uh, but also the project itself, everything going on, uh, you have Gogan, Marlowe is kind of in talks right now. Everybody's kind of talking about that because of DeFi and you have all of this stuff. You have input output kind of just growing. If you've seen Charles Hoskinson's uh, videos lately talking about just hiring like crazy, uh, I think they're at, trying to add 50 more employees, but you can see on their LinkedIn, 181 employees, this is... Uh, this team is building the Cardano platform, and there's so much in the in the uh, in the scope for for Cardano and what they're building, and it's just absolutely awesome in in my opinion in terms of bullishness because the project is building building something true uh, with true solutions, and so if you're if you're trying to tie that into bullish case scenarios, it ties in very well. Uh, with just this bullish chart in general. This is a bullish chart, uh, no matter how you look at it, if you're long-term in this. So wanted just to share an update. This is what we're looking at. Time will tell what happens. You just have to be patient. 
you, we get these nice moves, right? This is a really nice move. In my opinion, you don't want to FOMO into things like this. You want to watch how it plays out. Namely, is there support down here? And we're talking that that won't even require much patience to see how that plays out. Uh, we're talking like a 5% dip to the downside from where we are now. Very possible. So be prepared for it. Anyway, let me know your thoughts. Wanted to give you the Saturday update on Cardano as we watch these markets going into this weekend, into this week. What is going to happen? Time will tell. Sometimes that's all I know how to say. Time will tell. And we just have to sit back, relax, play it cool, and we'll find out, right? Just be prepared for every situation. So if you're here, you're not a subscriber, hit the subscribe, hit the like on your way out. I appreciate you. Have a good weekend and God bless.